welcome to Made to Mom, where we talk about how to make mom life easier or parenting easier today. Today I brought my best friend, my husband Trevor. Trevor, say hi. Hi, moms. <laughs> um, today I brought him in because we're going to talk about something uh, that I think is so important and I think it makes uh, your mom experience that much better, and that is um, your relationship with your spouse, and more importantly, dating your spouse when you're a parent. Um, especially if you are a parent to littles, um, it's a different ball game. So yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, we are in the middle of it with a two year old and a eight month old today. And we've had to get creative, especially in these COVID times. So yeah. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I think, uh, just the, the better, I guess, spouse you are, the better parent you'll be. Totally. And so it, it, this is a team, uh, you can be the best mom, and uh, but then having that dad with you is also, you guys can just go further, farther, yeah. faster, better with, with two. We're a team. Yeah. One plus one doesn't equal two, it equals three in this case. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't very good at math, but you Don't were, teach so. your kids that math. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, today one of the things that I just really want to hit on is that kids can cause tension, and they can cause tension. Trevor? Elaborate on this, please. Yeah, I think like very early on in our, um, well, we would have been married for what a year and a half, almost two years when we okay. found out we were pregnant. Um, I think yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, well, I think that when we got pregnant, it was like awesome and everything, and then we, we had Tanner. Yeah. Um, we learned very early on that if Tanner was Hold frustrated, on, just be clear, we didn't have Tanner. I had Tanner. Go on. I was there. <laughs> I played a part. Hey, you'll never feel more helpless than as a dad in a uh, delivery room. But um, we you learned were on. Great support. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> uh, but we learned on very early on that like if Tanner's frustrated or if our kids are frustrated and they're in a bad mood or they're in a having a fit, um, we need to watch how we're communicating with totally. each other because we'll take that energy and then give it to you when you had nothing to do with it. It's just the energy that I feel from someone else. Yeah, like you totally know that that little two-year-old doesn't really realize what they're doing and you don't want to take it out on them. And the next closest person... Is you. <laughs> yes, it's this person. And we don't want to treat each other that way, but it's so easy to just want to release that frustration. But he didn't cause it to happen. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get mad at Luke or Tanner, but I'm frustrated. Yeah. And, you know, we just have to work through those feelings, realize that that's happening, and just... One of us, or both of us, have to just take that step back and be like, okay, the baby is crying right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is why we're getting all worked up. So their energy is high, our energy is high, and that's... Yeah, I feel like the first time we realized it, we were like in a car probably, uh -huh. and I was like, wait, I'm not even mad at you. Totally. I'm mad at the situation that the baby is screaming and crying, and now I'm and taking that... It. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it had nothing to do with you. It didn't even really have anything to do with the baby. It's just I was frustrated in the moment. Loud. And so... And your head hurt. Yeah. Babies cry. So Shocking. now we know this. And we've always gotten along. But mm -hmm. now it's even better. We've actually been together since high school. So we started dating. I got his phone number at a basketball game. Uh, that she was, was keeping score. Not just the basketball game. He was a catch. That was, and shoot. And shoot. I guess <laughs> shoot three-pointers. Uh, we've been together. That was about 10 years ago now. We've been married um, almost five. Almost five. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's nuts. Um, love him just as much as that first day, even more now. Um, but like we said, 10 years, five years married, two kids, and... Here we are. Here we are. We're still going strong. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us in five years. The only difference will be there will be more kids. We'll still be going strong. That's right. Um, no kids are going to break us. No kids. No. Yeah, and one no. day, they'll all be out of the house. And we'll be sad that they're gone, but we'll have each other still. <laughs> okay, so kids will cause tension. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, sometimes when all that neg negative energy is happening, uh, you really need to focus on each other. So I so, 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 so think it's so important to still date your spouse. Uh, so that's number two. Make sure you're dating your spouse and be intentional about it. Um, you know, dating with littles can be hard because you might not have a babysitter. You might not... Uh, you're, I don't know. You don't have family around. No, we don't have that. any family around us. So we have, we've had to get creative and guys right now COVID is going on. So we've had to get extra creative because even if you have a baby to set her, you, where am I supposed to go? We're in California. Everything's mm -hmm. locked down. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had to get a little creative with our dates. Do you want to elaborate mm -hmm. somehow? Yeah. I think that 
I always wanted or I always viewed dates as going out of the house and yeah. doing something else. But for us in this season, a date has just been, hey, the kids are asleep. Let's be intentional with how we're going to interact with each other. Totally. And are you wanting me to say like the things we've done? Uh, uh, we can both. Um, <laughs> we've actually found a couple things that have. Not like that, guys. Not like that. <laughs> we've had a couple. <laughs> we've found a couple of things that have really um spiced it up spiced it up at home okay stop it <laughs> no we got so we subscribed to these uh this box it, um, you know we were always those people who said don't subscribe to something but we are locked at home we need to do something yeah. uh, bring the dates to you yes bring the, we're dating with or without babysitter with or without covid we're doing it inappropriate <laughs> but so we get go ahead okay so we have something we started with something called hello fresh and i like i said no subscription was ever going to get it's me. a meal delivery it's a service. meal delivery so but it's not just that it like sends you exactly how much you need and it sends you the recipe so it there's is no the most shopping. incredible thing and we were just talking today i think we've how many we've probably had over 100 meals at this point and there has been uh, one that i did not like so I'm not kidding you. Check out HelloFresh. It's okay. like we make sure that we're cooking together. Um, that's one of our rules. Like, hey, if we're spending this money on this, I think we get like three meals for the two of us, and it's like mm -hmm. sixty bucks or something. If we're if we're spending that money, we're making it a date, and mm -hmm. we are being intentional, spending our time cooking together, and that is our date. And I actually have a code for you guys. It is forty dollars off of your first time, um, and I'm gonna have a link in the bio for that. Um, check it out. Use that link. You, you'll thank me Use later. It, yeah. Use it. It's delicious. Um, we've also done one other thing. It's called Date Box. I also have a link in the bottom for that where you can get ten dollars off. And that is just something. At first, I thought it was going to be lame, but it actually the first one was better than the second. Uh, I'll show you guys videos as I'm talking right now. Um, do you want to explain those somehow? Sure. So they just send you a box, and they you open it up, and you don't open up the box completely. But um, in the box, there's like instructions of what you might need for your date. And so the first time we had a, a salsa dancing class yeah, we in our kitchen. Yeah, we salsa. And we are not music. Well, he's a music person, not me. We're not um, dancers. We're not dancers, yeah, no. No. But um, we also made homemade ice cream. Yeah. And we, made, we played this like get to know you game, which is kind of funny for us. Like we know each other extremely well. Mm -hmm. Yet it's still fun to play those games to like get to know you even more, That's I a guess. part of the being intentional. They're like, we're at home and we're we're talking, you know, make sure you're just having those conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one wasn't quite as great, but we still, you know, it still made us yeah. take that time for each other. Yeah. And we made uh, homemade popcorn, like fun or cookies and cream popcorn. And kettle corn that we kind of burnt. And kettle corn that we burnt. But that's okay. But it was still fun and there was some laughs and um, playing some laughs. games. Um, and, you know, that... that no was salsa nothing. dancing, though. No salsa dancing. No, we time. had it around. We did salsa, though. Yeah, because we learned it the first yes. time and we brought it over. We used it for our second time. Um, so those are just some of the ways that we've been intentional. Again, the links are in the uh, little description below this video that um, if you want to check them out, go for it and you get some money off of them to check them out. That's right. Um, what, what else do you think, Hun? What is that last important piece um, that we think is most important? Um, I think that this is parenting, but this is even more so just in a couple's relationship. Uh, I think one of the best pieces of advice we got in premarital counseling and they've even brought it into our relationship is uh, to put the needs of your spouse above your own needs, which sounds real weird because it's like, hey, if I put your needs ahead of mine, who's gonna take care of my needs? Yeah. But in a healthy relationship, like you're taking care of my needs, I'm taking care of your needs. This is like in every area of the relationship, but it will change how you um, view your spouse, but then it'll also change how you even view yourself. Yeah, we're a partnership. So like, you know, I'm if I'm, taking care of you, you're going to feel more special because I'm making that thought to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And we actually just realized something the other day that we need to be more um, aware of the other things that the person was doing. So we made sure yeah. like, hey, today I noticed that you did these things. So yeah. rather than like, hey, I did all these things for you today. Mm -hmm. No, today I noticed you did these things for me and thank right. you for that. Yeah, that's the worst thing when you do something for your spouse and it doesn't go recognized mm -hmm. and it kind of just, just bugs you like, hey, I've done the dishes for like 10 days in a row and you haven't even said anything. Are you built, is this built up? Thank you for sibling. doing the dishes. <laughs> thank you. That's all I wanted. Just a little thank you. But uh, then it, it almost made it fun when we first started doing that. It's like, hey, I have to make sure I do something for Holly so that she can recognize yeah, that I'm doing something for Holly. It pushes you to do it more. And, um, you know, we're always taking care of the kids. So, you know, the kids need someone to take care of them. And he doesn't need me to take care of him. 
but I think it's I'm a strong independent you man. are a strong independent man I'm a strong independent woman but, but together I just need you. <laughs> we, <laughs> it makes life better so you know just making sure that um, you're taking care of them making sure that uh, you know you're supporting them that you're uh, noticing things that need to be done that he might he doesn't need help with it but it it's a it's a bonus you know mm -hmm. uh, it's a part of a love language and same for him to me so yeah I think those are the most important things dating with littles and just making sure you're dating your spouse and how to get along, along better when you have kids yeah your kids will thank you if you're a better uh, not just mom and dad but they'll thank you yeah. when you're a better husband and a better wife totally uh, one of my favorite things about growing up one of the biggest things I learned from parents is I never saw them fight yeah uh, and I think that when I was little I legitimately thought they didn't fight yeah. uh, but now that I'm uh, married I know that you do get in those arguments it's just my parents were intentional that hey our kids are never gonna see us yeah getting into those ar uh, arguments or cat fights, whatever you want to call them. Um, and so we've made that choice for us. So be the best mom or mm -hmm. by being the best wife. Be yeah. the best dad by being the best husband. You'll be a better parent by being a better spouse. Yeah. 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 So I love you. Thanks for joining me today. You're welcome. Um, Thanks for having me, moms. Yeah. Well, guys, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if this is something that was helpful for you or you can share it along with someone, go ahead and click subscribe, share it with your friends, like it, uh, follow me on Instagram. You know, I loved having you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye, mamas. Bye, moms. That's done.